the Ironman. They'll be defending against the Cyclone. I'm Dan Stevens, and with me as always, Peter O'Keefe. Okay, let's do a rundown with the all-pro talent in today's game. Jack Lambert and O.J. Simpson lead the charge for the Cyclones. Is there any doubt in your mind about how good these two guys are? The best thing is that they raise up the game for those around them. But the other team is also loaded with talent. Dan Marino and Mike Ditka lead the charge for the Ironies. Well, when you think of great players, you picture guys like this. They are the epitome of excellence. And with a supporting cast such as this one, all bets are off. Thanks, Peter. Now let's go to the coin talk. Dan, how you doing? Gentlemen, please make your call. We'll take hands. It is tails. We'll take the ball. The Iron Man have won the toss and select to receive. Northrup kicks off and the game is underway. Goal decides to take it out of the end zone. Goal the tackle, tackled at the 20. Really Goal got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Iron Men bring their offense on the field and will start the drive at their own 20-yard line. to six. Eddie Wallace was assisted on that play by some great blocking that opened up holes for him. Without those blockers, he would have been toast. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Eight. Second and three from Ohio, 26 yards. Gets the target ah! and chews up about four on the play. Pete Bowden brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some game there, but not enough for the first. They don't allow them to convert, but they did allow them to get very close. Third and short. Let, let's see if they can come up with another big stand. Third down, one yard to go. Marino just rifles this one, and the completion is good for six. Many more, and nobody on him. And when the quarterback saw that, he quickly shot him the ball. Second and four. Ball at the 40 yards.
Dan Marino has great accuracy on this throw. Yeah, he put the ball right where his guy could get it. And the defender couldn't. Nice toss. His first huge connection of the day was two inches from the sun, I swear. All right, settle down. Slight exaggeration there, big guy. All right, that was a big play. This defense better watch themselves. A line has just been drawn. Dan, we got a good fullback in there. He may run it himself or be a equal. Henderson takes it off the toss and will end up losing a bunch here. Rick Scott got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That's his third tackle of the game. Second Let's all play heads up right here. The Cyclone, six yard line. Across the line, no more messing around. Man, this is a big one. Third, Third and goal from the cyclone. Third and goal. Marino hopes this one to the end zone. It's cut for a touchdown. Lenny Moore shakes his opponent at the line and beats him on a quick pattern. They just couldn't cover him man up, plain and simple. Yeah, great catch and execution. This is a take no prisoners kind of guy when he is in the red zone. Well, after piling up some good yardage on the day, he makes a big play here for a score. The point after, and it's good. one. Carrier decides to take it out of the end. Stop at the 21. Mark Carrier got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Cyclones offense takes the field, and they will start at their own 21-yard line. It upfield, tackled at the 29. Simpson with the carry. He picks up eight yards on the play. Waters with the tackle. Dan, they eat up some major yards on that run. This is a well-prepared rushing game. Well, Peter credit his speed, coupled with the great blocking that he got, and that ensured he had room to run. They are the total package. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second down, tight end to the left. He's at the 40, one man to beat, 35, 25, 10, 5, touchdown! Dan, check out all the yards he snarfs up here. Yes, snarfs. 
That's an old football term. <laughs> Tell you what, though, this is a great play. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 79 yards and one touchdown. North is back for the point after. Griffin on the hold. the point after and it's good It's a boomer down the field. Galt decides to take it out of the end zone. Runs off the tackle. Brought down at the 24. Really Galt got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. men got into the end zone last time they had it and they're looking to do it again they'll start at their own 24 yard line Moore grabs the fastball over the middle and he's just barely past the markers for a first Moore makes the catch with three defenders on his case. I just don't know why uh, the throw was made in the triple coverage. Hey, it worked. Yes, it did. Beautiful hey. catch, Peter, and his stats are moving up. Moving way up, Dan. He's now got 28 yards on three catches. Waller <laughs> will get the carry on first down and heads left. Tackled at the 37. With the carry. The pick up of three on the play. Garrett with the tackle. Second and seven. From four iron man. 37 yards. Moore catches this one, and that will be a gain of three yards. You got given me. That's because you're no good, man. This kind of pickup should be no problem for us. Brings up fourth down. Number 58 has planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers. But you know, Dan, the only thing that's going to grow is this D's morale. That's his second tackle so far. Berger gets ready to punt it away. Berger takes the long snap and punts it away. Carrier catches it at the 15. Tackled at the 20. Mark Carrier got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. A nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Cyclones had an effective first drive and we'll see if they can keep it up. They'll start at their own 20-yard line. This one way out right and gets the first and more. 35, 20, 15, touchdown! A 
O.J. Simpson gains a lot on this play, but it wasn't all him. Watch. Yep, he owes everything to those blockers, baby. They cleared the path for him. That was his second rushing touchdown of the day. Not a bad day at the office so far. <laughs> That's typical production for him, Dan. He's that kind of player. North is back for the point after. Rippon will hold the kick. Here's the point after, and it's good. The point is good. Feels mighty good to be in front, don't it, boys? one downfield. Goal is coming out with it. Tackled at the 21. Early ball took it out of the end zone. And while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20. So it all comes out in the wash on that play. men stalled early last drive we'll have to see what happens here we'll start at their own 21 yard line Mike Ditka is going to make the catch here, but doesn't stop after that. He snares it and powers his way for more. Ooh, that guy was rumbling. Ooh. Ha, he's not exactly fleet of foot, you know, but on that last play, he spun his wheels and really dug in for those extra yards. And when you barrel down the field like a Mack truck, you don't need to be fleet of foot. Marino throws it to the right side. And the reception's made at the 40, and he's stopped right there. Second and six. Wallace will get the carry on the ground and gets well past the markers for a first. First down, Ironman. Dan, they eat up some major yards on that run. This is a well-prepared rushing game. Well, Peter credit his speed, coupled with the great blocking that he got, and that ensured he had room to run. They are the total package. What a run, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, yeah, he's running hard, and up to now, he's got 27 yards on five carries. with the tight end right. Second and seven from the Cyclone, 25 yards. Yeah. Horton <laughs> makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. <laughs> Marino throws this one over the middle. The reception's made at the 10. Locked down hard at the 6. It'll be first and goal. Moore catches it in the flat, and he's in for the score. A 
anymore. He's all by himself, and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. This guy has earned his team big points today. That's why he's such a key player. Yeah, he knows how to make himself available in that part of the field, scoring his second touchdown of this contest. point and it's good Decides to take it out of the end zone. That's the 24. Mark Carrier got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Cyclones will begin the drive at their own 24 yard line. Two's up nine yards, and that brings up Simpson. second down. Gain of nine on the play. To Apollo with the tackle. O.J. Simpson sticks to his blockers like a kick-me sign as he runs the football. Well, <laughs> that's a pretty vivid description, but I'll tell you, it works. And the play works, too, as he surges across the line for a big game. Yeah, it's all about using your blockers, Dan. They clear a path, you use the path. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Simpson takes it off the cross and runs into traffic, tackled at the 37. First down. First and ten from the cycle, 37 yards. Simpson <laughs> picked up about 12, and that brings up first down. We got to start putting up a better fight. Let's toughen up. First and ten. <laughs> Simpson carries it for the Colts this time and hurdles his way to a first down. O.J. Simpson I steps over the tackler to get the yards. Oh, it's all about timing. What a run, Peter, and his numbers are adding up. Adding up to one big number. Up to now, he's got 195 yards on seven carries. First down, one man back. Cunningham fires this one over the middle, and it's off incomplete.
O.J. Simpson. Makes a phenomenal move here to keep the play alive. Huge move for a huge play. Peter, while he's used to being in the end zone, this is a great day even for him. I love it. What a player. It's good. The point is good. Northrop booms one downfield. Gold decides to take it out of the end zone. <laughs> Stop at the 24. Really golf. Got out close to the 20 on that one, so the decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Iron Men passed well last time out. We'll see if they stick to the passing game as they start this drive at their own 24-yard line. Marino tips it to the left sideline and the ball is caught for a gain of seven on the play. Gary Clark has no one around to stop him and what are the defenders doing out there? What? I mean, wh were they thinking he'd drop it? Uh, apparently they, were they weren't even thinking at all. It makes you wonder how far away we are from substitutions in that secondary. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. Third and one. surge like that good things happen especially in the ground game a big gain on third and they will easily move the chain perfect call for the situation Dan no trouble in getting the first incomplete. Clyde Simmons shadowed the slant route back there and kept the receiver from making the catch. Incomplete pass. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Second and ten from Marino lets it go down the right side, and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. Gary Clark would have had some room on the outside on that play if only he had made the catch incomplete. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete, and it will be third down. There ain't no chance they're going to get this to me on. Deny, deny, deny. Third down, and five wide receivers take the field.
Warner and Jackson way back at the 32. That will bring up fourth down. Six yards on the play. Tony Warner gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, D Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. That'll be his first sack of the game. Berger gets ready to punt it away. Berger takes the snap and hits a beauty. Carry fields the shoot at the 22. Right down at the 30. Mark Carrier returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Cyclones take the field, and they have had some big running plays. We'll see if another one is in the works. We'll start at their own 30-yard line. Greg Clayton broke the offense back a few yards with a terrific sack in the backfield. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs will spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. Cunningham zings it to the right side, and the ball is caught at the 26. Right there. Randall Cunningham made a nice throw there. Got it right past the defender. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big oh. play coming up. Catches the hitter left sideline and they get the first on third and long. Frank Wooden finally makes the play, but not in time. Let's have another look. Oh yeah, gave up a lot of yards before forcing him out of bounds. On third and long, the defense cannot dig in and stop them. You gotta grit your teeth in those circumstances and just not let them get you. No way, no how. First we gotta stop the passing game. Forty-six yards. Cunningham passes this. The ball is caught at the twenty-eight. Finally stopped at the twenty-six. Twenty-eight yards on the play. First down, Cyclones. Jeff Watson has just one guy on him, and he beats him easily. Even with my few extra pounds, I, I think I could have done a better job covering him. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that. He would have smoked you like a salmon. Hmm, uh, that sounds pretty good. They are allowed for the first time here in the second quarter, and look at the result. Yeah, it's kind of like a boxing match. Jab, jab, then pow! Hit him over the head. First down, three wideouts in the game. Alvin Harper is so open on this play, it's ridiculous, Dan. Was the defense even on the field? <laughs> Let's take a look. Well, they were all right, but they just weren't paying attention. This is a take-no-prisoners kind of guy when he is in the red zone. Oh, after piling up some good yardage on the day, he makes a big play here for a score. the 
point after, and it's good. The point is good. Is coming out with it. Tackle at the 21. Really golf. Got out close to the 20 on that one. So his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Iron Men must feel like they need to score this time out. This drive will start at their own 21 yard line. at the sack way back at the 15. Six yards on the play. Bobby Peterson goes in unblocked and nails him to the ground. The O-line should be embarrassed. Watch this. Oh yeah, sacks don't get much easier than that. That'll be his first sack of the game. Second and 16. Ball at the 15 yard line. Marino throws this on a rope. And the section's made at the 40. Tackled at the 43. Second down from the shotgun. by himself and he'll take advantage of it easy catch a well-designed play there Peter and they will move the chain great execution Marino throws this one over the middle, and it's tipped incomplete. Deron Cherry anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. A nice throw down the field, but the defense plays it perfectly. Great coverage downfield that time. Let's give him no chance for three here, all right? Oh. Second and ten. Separates him from the ball. Incomplete. No way, baby! No way! Woo! Third down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. Oh, let's watch this. Five wide out versus a D that is wisely loaded up on DBs. 
Marino makes the pass. It's complete at the 24. Finally stopped at the 23. Shakir uses the double left sideline and he picks up nine. Marino throws a bullet to the flat and it's caught just barely past the markers for a first. Del Shakir can't believe he's this wide open. The coverage simply does a disappearing act. That's a magic trick the defensive coordinator needs to retire. Peter, no one seems to be able to stop this guy on the left side. They've found him a few times over there. Yeah, he's been running sharp routes, but it makes you wonder about the coverage over to that area. the extra point and it's good. Pushes this one deep. Carry downs it for a touchback. The Cyclones take the field and will start out at their own 20 yard line. is made past the markers for a first down. Randall Cunningham played the pass perfectly, zeroing in on his man despite the coverage. You know, it's all about accuracy in that situation. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lining up the stat sheet. Oh, you got it. So far, he's got 91 yards and one touchdown. First down and picks up eight yards on the play. Simpson with the carry. A pick up of eight yards on the play. Lucas credited with the tackle. Second and two from the second line. This is number called on second down, and it's taken down near the line and actually loses a bit. Aaron Morrison got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They managed to hold them behind the line of scrimmage, but they have another shot at it coming up. Third and short. Let, let's see if they can come up with another big stand. it in the flat and he will be short of the marker it'll be fourth down Corey Webb got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield nice defensive stop good defense that's forced two losses in a row Lee winds up for the punt <laughs> Lee takes the long snap and punts it away Goal fields the punt at the 18. Stop at the 23. The Iron Man got 
got into the end zone last time. They had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their own 23-yard line. is the incompletion. Josh Horton knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball passed. Second down, two receivers to the left. Marino throws this one over the middle, and it's tipped! Incomplete! Tony Warner read that one right out of the receiver's break and denied it. Yet another big play by this defense. That was their fifth batted ball today. Yeah, you can see them start to anticipate the path of the throw the minute the quarterback winds up. Great! Third and ten. Ball at the 23 yard. The 16. It'll be fourth down. Jerome Brown got a nice sack in the backfield that sent this offense backpedaling. Spin class? That's funny. As if I still work out. That's number four on the game for this defense. They've made their presence felt. Yes, they have, Dan. Berger lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Berger takes the long snap and punts it away. Carrier takes it at the 41. Stopped at the 43. Mark Carrier got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. Let's dig in on the seat, fellas. First and ten. Simpson takes it to his 11 carry and rambles for about five. Simpson with the carry. The pickup of five on the play. Cragen credited with the tackle. Second and four. Ball at the 21. Fernando Lopez got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They forced that one backwards, and that's going to make this third down that much harder. Yeah, they also make it easier on themselves by wiping out all of the potential short yardage plays they might face. Third and long. They get the first on third and long. He picks it. 17 on the play. First down, Cyclones. Alvin Harper makes the catch with three defenders on his case. I just don't know why uh, the throw was made into triple coverage. Hey, it worked. Yes, it did. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. We'll get the carry on first down and we'll end up losing a couple. Fernando Lopez got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That's his second tackle so far. Man, we need more out of you. Where you been today? Don't worry, man. I'm going to get turned around. Go, go. 
Frank Wooden couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Nails the offense with a huge loss. Watch how he targets the quarterback and then crushes him. He sacks him way back there. Great play. That'll be his first sack of the game. Lee gets ready to punt it away. Lee gets the ball and punts it away. Goal makes a fair catch at the 12. Ball is spotted at the 13 yard line. The Iron Men will start this drive all the way back at their own 13 yard line. Clyde Simmons moved this offense back a few with a great sack in the backfield. You know, that was a great call. That will be their fifth sack of the day, and they have been simply great. relentless so far. Dan, they haven't let up all game, and that's what you want. Somebody whose motor never stops. Henderson picks up 11 on the play, and that will bring up third down. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. Good pickup, and they'll need another one just like that to convert this third and long. Can they do it, Peter? Well, maybe. We'll find out soon. Third down and four wideouts in the game. to the left side of the line. The ball is caught at the 27, and he's stopped right there. Dan Marino keeps his cool and waits in the pocket for the play he wants. And then he gets it with a nice throw. Must be nice to have that kind of time back there. Yeah, and that's got to frustrate this defense. They just couldn't get to him. What a pass, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got 260 yards and no interceptions. Watch your side! Watch your side! 27 yard. move here to keep the play alive. Huge move for a huge play. What a run, man. He is generating some great numbers. Oh, yeah, he's running hard. And up to now, he's got 56 yards on nine carries. First down, 10 yards to go.
forces the incompletion. Deron Cherry wouldn't get all the way positioned for the interception, but still managed to graze the ball with his fingertips. You know, Peter, if this were volleyball, that would have been the defense's sixth spike of the match. Yeah, the O keeps setting it up, and the D keeps sending it back. Marino zings it to the right side, and the reception's made at the 38, and finally stopped at the 2. It'll be first and goal. Willie Galt is going to make the catch, but that's only the beginning. He simply chews up yardage here. If you're the defense, you have to try and gang tackle this guy early or it's lights out. What a play. A massive pickup and an obvious first down, Peter. They weren't thinking first down as much as they were thinking touchdown on that baby. Thanks for giving me all that time, boys. That's why us boys in the trenches get paid the big bucks, right? Go top. First and goal. Oh, a lot of weapons out there, Dan. They can get you through the air or on the ground. Wallace catches it in the flat and loses yards on that one. Second and goal. for a negligible gain on the play. Eddie Wallace didn't get very far on that last play, and he even had the help of some blocking. But I guess the defense had their number. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. Just a basic little pickup is all we need. Then let's get that first! <laughs> Wallace catches it in the flat and that's a touchdown! Here. And when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. Peter Hill had a touchdown to his stats, and he has to be very happy with that. You bet. Big play, my friend. Pushes this one deep. Carrier decides to take it out of the end zone. Stop at the 18. Mark Carrier got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Cyclones come out on the field, and they have found themselves in a shootout. This drive starts at their own 18-yard line. Simpson takes the hand off, and is right, tackled, and the clock will continue to run. 
Second down, oh. tight end to the left. <laughs> Curtis pulls it in right side, tries to get free, and he stopped right there. Sack way in the backfield. Check it out. Oh, yeah. He went right through the O-line and got to his man. Great effort. Peter, he's really gotten after the quarterback in this game. Oh, you can say that again. So far, he's got three tackles and two sacks. How about blocking this thing? Come on. Let's swarm this guy. Lee brings up the punt after the three and out. the ball and punts it away. Goal deals the punt at the 44. Back down at the 49. Willie Galt got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Iron Men could take the lead going into the locker room as their offense will start at the 49-yard line. Marino throws it deep down the left sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Deron Cherry came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. For the third time today, he gets enough of that pass to force it incomplete. Well, at this point, Dan, why do you keep trying to throw through him? That's very risky. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Incomplete. Deron Cherry was sitting back in the zone waiting for the pass and then closes enough to force the incompletion. Nice job. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. We're shutting you down, third baby. You can't move the ball. Marino lofts this one out to the left, and it's off his fingertips, incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Mike Ditka almost brought that baby in, but it was just off his fingers. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. When you don't convert, it really hurts. Berger gets ready to punt it away. Takes the long snap and punts it away. Let the punt bounce for a touchdown. Robert Berger saw his kick go squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck.
The Cyclones take the field with the clock at 15. And check out all the yards he snarfs up here. Yes, snarfs. That's an old football term. <laughs> Tell you what, though, this is a great play. Peter, while he's used to being in the end zone, this is a great day even for him. I love it. What a player. the point after and it's good Booms one downfield. Gold decides to take it out of the end zone. Shoots. Drag down at the 23. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Cyclones are out in front, 35 to 28. Okay, Dan, let's get this halftime show started. What do you have for us? I'll look at our first half numbers now, and the stat that leaps out at you, third down conversions. The Ironmen should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponents hang in there with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Marino would air it out on this one, and he would find his man. A 58-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. The Ironmen get the first points of the game and go up by seven. Early in the first quarter, Simpson is going to take this one to the outside, and once he gets the corner, it's a foot race. A 71-yard touchdown for the visitors. Midway through the first, game tied, seven all. Simpson would come up with a big play here as he gets the carry and has clear sailing ahead. I'm out of control. The Ironmen, still midway through the first quarter, Ditka ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. A 35-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. Game tied, 14 all. Simpson would let his big old offensive line pave the way on this one. A 40-yard touchdown for the visitors. Now early in the second quarter, already inside field goal range, Cunningham connected with his man on this one. A 26-yard touchdown for the visitors. Still early in the second quarter, the Ironmen down by 14. Marino connected with his man on this one. They climb back into the game, now down by seven. The Cyclones, middle of the second. Cunningham went up top on the third down play and he was able to find his man. Unfortunately, the drive stopped shortly afterwards and they had to punt it away. The Cyclones leading 28 to 21. Galt was definitely a key player as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. A 48-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. The Ironmen tie it up again, 28 all. The Cyclones come right back. Simpson is going to get the carry here as they grind it out on the ground and he makes the most of this one. An 80-yard touchdown for the visitors. 
And that will do it. The Iron Men are down, but still in it. 35 to 28. All right, good work, partner. The Cyclones will receive to start the second half, and they currently enjoy a small lead, 35 to 28. Let's go down to the field. the second half kickoff away. Carrier decides to take it out of the end zone. Back on that to 21. Mark Carrier got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Cyclones bring their offense on the field and will start the drive at their own 21-yard line. Simpson is at the 35. Simpson chews up 14 yards, and that brings up first down. O.J. Simpson sticks close to his blockers here, and it pays off. What a run, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, yeah, he's running hard, and up to now, he's got 338 yards on 16 carries. Hey, man, what a huge game. You're the star for us today. I knew I was going to have one of those special days today. Great. First and 10. Simpson takes it for his 17th carry and chews up about four on the play. A pick up of four yards on the play. Waters with the tackle. You be ready out Second there. You hear me? From the Cyclones, 39 yards. Is at the 50, 35, 25, 10, 5, touchdown! OJ Simpson dusts the defense with this here. Oh, perfect spin move. That's another visit to the end zone for him, and he has some nice stats so far. Yeah, he's generated points, that's for sure, Dan. So far, he's got over 400 yards and five touchdowns. North is back for the point after. Rippin on the hold. The point after, and it's good. The point is good. Booms one downfield. Goal is coming out with it. Great speed. Back down to 23. Willie Gall took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. men must feel like they need to score this time out. This drive will start at their own 23-yard line. Wallace takes it for his 11th carry and will lose about a yard here. 
Clyde Simmons read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his second tackle so far. Let's go. Second and ten. Ball at the 22 yard line. Marino throws a heater right side line and connects for a pickup of four on the play. Lenny Moore had a defender close by but was able to bring down the catch. This guy has been pretty much unstoppable this contest. You might think uh, you have him covered, but you don't. That's absolutely right, Dan. Solid effort from whistle to whistle. If the D doesn't step up now, they might not get a chance later on. Shaquille grabs the best play over the middle, and they get the first on third and long. Shakir, pick up 25 on the play. First down. Adele oh, Shakir man. gets open and gets the football for a gain there. Watch this again. He is wide open. The defense clearly fell apart on that one. Well, you can't leave anyone that open in pro football, or they will make you pay. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Marino throws a heater and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. I'm in the league of my own. I'm in the league of my own. First down, Iron Man. How's that point taste, huh? How's it taste? Catches it in the flat and is at the 30. Stop at the 26. Eddie Wallace made the catch and iced the cake with a few more yards. Way to fight for more, buddy. Whoa, this is a nice surprise. The coaches have made him involved, resulting in yet another catch. Yeah, working your runner into the throwing scheme poses huge matchup problems for the defense, and you saw it there. Marino makes the throw out of the play after play, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Dan Marino sings this one perfectly. Great pass, great catch, great play. Let's have another look. Bullseye, what a precise throw. They keep doing plays like this, the D could be in big trouble. Well, I, I don't know if any defensive adjustments were made at halftime, Peter. I sure can't tell. <laughs> this quarterback just knows how to make everyone play his game. In his third great quarter, he's still forcing the D to play by reaction damage. Takes control right out of their hands. Moore <laughs> the tries to get free. And he stopped right there. Lenny Moore had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. This guy can really twist up the coverage in that short area. That's right, Dan. Those quick routes have been open for him all day. Obviously, that's what the defense wants to give him. Marino lobs this one deep to the end zone, and it's cut for the score. Dan Marino had only one spot where he could put the football, Dan, and that's right where it goes. Now watch how he sneaks this ball past multiple defenders. Yeah, it takes a considerable amount of poise and confidence to execute a play like this. Now we are seeing signs of true greatness. He's looking like a league MVP. All those defensive backs should look in the mirror and ask themselves if they're really ready to play this game. Point after, and it's good. Rush 
pushes this one deep. Carrier decides to take it out of the end zone. Mark Carrier took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the watch on that play. The Cyclones bring their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 21-yard line. in front of him by touchdown Alvin Harper adds a bunch to that completion watch the replay there's the grab and he just takes off he just loves to see those little white lines go by underneath his feet that is why he's on your football team he took advantage of the coverage made the catch and added six more to the books you know dan there are players who impact the game and there are players who flat out score touchdowns he does both north is back for the point after Rippon will hold the kick Here's the extra point, and it's good. The extra point is good. The eviscerate, suckers who demonstrate the long standing of my command. The illustrative delivery, creating the misery that's effectively killing all of the not creative. But wait a minute, at the same time I resuscitate, both of the weak of faith, the faith that hip hop is dying. All of the negative thoughts they Let's generate, I quickly the kick off. Rate, and that's without my even trying to be 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 trying to Northrup hits a boomer down the field. Gold decides to take it out of the end zone. <laughs> Tackled at the 20. Maybe Gold took it out of the end zone. And while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20. So it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Iron Men passed well last time out. We'll see if they stick to the passing game as they start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Marino zips it to the right side. Caught at the 33, tackled hard at the 37. It will be first down. Mike Ditka gets there to reel in the catch despite being double covered. What do you have to do to intimidate this guy? Well, he never takes his eye off the ball, Dan, even as he's bracing for the hit. These guys make very great targets. Not to mention, it takes a whole defense to bring them down. Well, let me tell you something, Dan. When that ball starts roaming around in that china shop, things get broken pretty fast. Will bring up second down. Bowden credited with the tackle. He loses two yards on the Pete Bowden keeps his man from getting back to the line. Let's watch. Pow! Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's his second tackle so far. Second and 12 from Marino makes the pass, and it's incomplete. Eddie Wallace is showing signs of frustration, Dan, and the defensive players are talking in his ear. That would have been a big play and a big first down, Peter. They just don't sync up. Good call. Maybe next time it'll work. We can't stop him, man. We got problems. Let's go. Run and for 
forces the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Rick Scott couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. Oh, for... This is getting ridiculous. The offense just cannot get the ball past the reach of these defenders. You're right, Dan, and that's been one of the big stories of this game. Berger lines up for the punt. Berger gets the snap and hits a beauty. Carrier fields the deep punt at the 18. The 26. Mark Carrier returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Cyclones come out on offense, and they are well ahead. They'll start this drive at their own 26-yard line. Kevin Tuipala targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. That will bring up third down. And they eat up some major yards on that run. This is a well-prepared rushing game. Well, Peter credit his speed, coupled with the great blocking that he got, and that ensured he had room to run. They are the total package. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now, Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Simpson takes the sweep right out left and converts the third down. O.J. Simpson finds the hole on this one and gains some good yardage. Wow, great blocking on that play. Peter, they did what they needed to do and they squeak it past the first down line. Yeah, he knew what he needed to do and he done did it. How eloquently put. Thank you. First down, two tight ends in the game. Simpson carries it for the fourth straight time losing a couple. Damn! That's what I'm talking about! Big stop, baby. Great tackle. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling good now. Hey! Makes a tough catch, and, and he's stopped right there. Cunningham the Cunningham rolled the dice by targeting the receiver with two defenders near him. But the pass clicked, and they'll move the ball. You have to respect this offensive game plan. That was their third connection downfield today, Peter. Yep, the coaches must have found a weak spot in that secondary. taken down well short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Jonte Lucas made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. He's got seven tackles so far. Lee gets ready to punt it away.
major collision with the ball carrier there. He definitely got the better of it, though, since he came away with the football. Peter, he gets his first forced fumble of the day, and it seemed to me that he was looking for that since the first snap. Yeah, he's been going for the ball all day, and, well, it's really paid off. The Iron Men are already in field goal position to start this drive and are going to line up at the 32-yard line. Marino throws a heater right sideline and it's tipped incomplete. Rick Scott came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. For the third time today, he gets enough of that pass to force it incomplete. Well, at this point, Dan, why do you keep trying to throw through him? That's very risky. Let's go. Second and ten. Listen to the call. Touchdown, Iron Man. Late hit, number 58, defense. Touchdown. Number 58 tackles his man on this play well after the whistle blew. Watch this again. Oh, yeah, clear cut case of unnecessary roughness. This pass in beautifully, rendering the defense irrelevant. When you can make accurate throws like that, the whole field starts to open up for you. Well, I, I don't know if any defensive adjustments were made at halftime, Peter. I sure can't tell. <laughs> this quarterback just knows how to make everyone play his game. In his third great quarter, he's still forcing the D to play by reaction, Dan, which takes control right out of their hands. Coverage incomplete. Tony Warner cuts in there and gets himself in a perfect spot. Absolutely, Peter. He's able to keep the receiver from getting near it. Well, the closer you play, the better your shot is at breaking up the completion. That's incomplete, and the defense keeps the points off the board. Perfectly played. Great call by the defensive coordinator. Third down coming up. In, fellas, protect our end zone. Nobody crosses that goal line. Third and goal from the second Marino ropes this one to the outside. It's not before the score. anymore has no one around to stop him and what are the defenders doing out there what i mean w w were they thinking he'd drop him uh, apparently they were thinking they weren't even thinking at all it, it makes you wonder how far away we are from substitutions in that secondary three tds today fantastic he just competes harder than the next guy that's it oh this guy is on point every time we see him he does what he has to do and makes the defenders look helpless while doing it the point after and it's good Field. 
Carrier is coming out with it. <laughs> Mark Carrier took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Cyclones fumbled the ball away last time. Let's see if they can hold on to it this time as they start this drive at their own 20-yard line. <laughs> Picks up a couple. Flag down on the play. Let's get the call. Neutral zone infraction. Number 90. Defense. Odd yard penalty. Repeat. First down. Lito Setzer had crossed the plane made by the tips of the football on that last one. So we got the call for a neutral zone infraction. First down. Right. Two wide outs on the field. That will bring up first down. First and ten. Simpson gets the ball and passes the line. The thirty-three. Simpson. Third down, one man back. Spins for the first down. O.J. Simpson makes a great move here. Oh, what a spin. He gets even more yards on the ground. A productive first half, and the second half is shaping up to be just as busy for him. Until he slows down, there's no reason to change it up. Cunningham throws a bullet to the flat and it's complete. Eventually shoved out at the 45. First down. 13 on the play. First down, Cyclones. Charlie Waters just can't deliver the decisive hit until after the ball carrier got the first down. Maybe the sound of the chains moving drowned out his footsteps and gave him the element of surprise. Hey, that's a good one, Dan. Make sure we get a mic on his bench if he tries to sell that one to his coach. Can't wait to hear that exchange. That's his second tackle so far. Well, and it will be second down. Let's make sure we keep him out of field goal range here. Cunningham throws a bullet to the flat and it's complete at the 41, stopped at the 34. O.J. Simpson made the grab as the coverage seemed like they were in another world. Whose man is he? Right there, he was able to make a good grab and pick up a couple of yards. That's the kind of play that can put a lot of pressure on a defense. They tried to stop him, but just couldn't get it done. Ink catches it over the middle and is 
is well past the markers for a first down. He picks up 16 yards on the play. First down, Cyclones. Randall Cunningham couldn't look the defenders off the ball on this one. Here's an example of one guy making a play against several. Oh, it was close, but his receiver made a positive play on it. Again, he uses the middle of the field to advance the football. And uh -huh. Dan, why not? Well, they, they found some seams, some crease right in the middle. And, well, they feel they can take advantage of it at any time. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Cyclones are out in front 49 to 42. Alvin Harper has just one guy on him and he beats him easily. Even with my few extra pounds, I, I think I could have done a better job covering him. Oh, no. <laughs> I doubt that. He would have smoked you like a salmon. Hmm, uh, that sounds pretty good. That's yet another downfield shot to the same location. And yeah, this guy really has a feel for adjusting to the deep ball. You can't coach that. Extra point and it's good. Decides to take it out of the end zone. Yeah. Right down at the 22. Billy Gall took it out of the end zone. And while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20. So it all comes out in the watch on that play. The Iron Men send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 22-yard line. Peterson hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. Many more. Okay, watch this here. He's in position, but couldn't quite haul in the short-range pass. Didn't work out that time. That falls incomplete, but it would have been a minimal gain had they completed it anyway. Marino throws the pass, and it's knocked down at the line, incomplete. Mike Ditka is showing signs of frustration, Dan, and the defensive players are talking in his ear. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but not much. Not a lot of potential on that call. Third and ten. him from the ball incomplete it'll be fourth down Josh Horton closed in from the zone and forced the incompletion well the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion that was a good call by the defensive coordinator oh, it sure was perfect D for that situation and it will bring up fourth down
Berger takes the snap and hits a beauty. Carrier catches it at the 31. Back down at the 34. The Cyclones got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their 34-yard line. the first down and a whole lot more first down cyclones fernando lopez finally makes the play but not in time let's have another look oh yeah gave up a lot of yards before forcing him out of bounds that will be his fourth tackle so far what do you think of his performance peter solid game dan really carrying his sizable weight out there Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Northrop boots it from 46 yards out, and it's good! Dean Northrop rockets this one in for a clean field goal. Let's see it again. He's got plenty of room on either side. Great accuracy there. Well, you could have backed up that one 10 yards or so. He still probably would have made it. Northrop boots it away. And while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20. So it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Iron Men stalled early last drive. We'll have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 25-yard line. Catches it in the flat and tries to get free. Pushed out at the 33. Eddie Wallace does a solid job getting past the D with that move to get some post-catch yardage. That's style and grace and athleticism all wrapped up into one play. Beautiful. He did a good job getting his hands around the football and then he just took off with it. Yeah, he's not running any tricky patterns, but can pick up the extra yardage when he needs to. Marino lobs this one way over the middle, and the reception's made at the 39. Five, he's 
play here. You'll see he catches the football and he turns it up and on. Gotta love seeing open field like that in front of you. Peter, this touchdown was a very important one. Well, it pulls him closer and keeps him in the game, Dan. They'll need more of the same if they want to pull this off, though. point and it's good Decides to take it out of the end zone. Dodges a tackle. Brought down at the 19. Mark Carrier took it out of the end zone. And while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20. So it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Cyclones bring their offense on the field. And will start the drive at their own 19-yard line. The 17. Kevin Tui Paula targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got six tackles. <laughs> Lopez tackles in for a short run. Fernando Lopez got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got five tackles and one sack. Wooden slips right into the zone here. Whether the quarterback doesn't see him or just discounts him, I don't know. But he's in perfect shape to reroute that pass into his hands and send their offense to the sideline. I mean, I suppose Miss Manners would have told him not to take something that didn't belong to him without asking, but Miss Manners has lousy hands anyway. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Iron Men are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 45-yard line. Marino rifles it out left side and gets intercepted. Locked down at the 47. Bobby Peterson has this pass dead to rights all the way, Dan. He's got the interception and enough room to run the ball and give his offense a head start. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Cyclones were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at the 47-yard line. Second down from the eye. Second and seven. From the second, 45 yards.
Hicks on the play, and they will move the chains. O.J. Simpson stayed with his blockers on that last one, and it paid off big time. You know, Dan, it's always good to have a wingman or two. Again, he gets the ball, and they have stuck by the run all game. Peter Weisso run heavy up to now. Well, it's worked. Simple as that. If they can't come up with an answer, keep running it down their throat. Simpson gets the call on first down and heads up field. Up hard at the 29. Rod McIntosh used every ounce of his big self to do some key blocking on that last play. More great blocks, and we've seen that all game. What a job of teamwork by this offensive squad. Simpson gets the call on second down and barely picks up the first down. O.J. Simpson played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. And yet again, he's the go-to man for the offense. Dan, ordinarily, I wouldn't Let recommend go. putting all your eggs in one basket. And this is one rock em, suck em basket. Cunningham throws this one to the end zone, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Jeff Watson muffed an almost guaranteed catch there. And as a receiver, you have to carry your weight and make the play. They don't come much more catchable than that one. That would have been a touchdown, but instead, after the incompletion, they will face a second down. Yeah, Dan, you have to take advantage of opportunities like that. Fernando Lopez targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's tackle number six for him. He's holding up his part of the line, and that is for sure. Oh, you got to love a player stepping up like that. quarterback deep in the pocket that's going to be a sizable loss watch this oh, and that's going to push them way back great defensive play another good stop by the defense and that will be two losses in a row fourth down 15 yards to go Boots it from 46 yards out, and it's good. Dean Northrup rockets this one in for a clean field goal. Let's see it again. He's got plenty of room on either side. Great accuracy there. Well, you could have backed up that one 10 yards or so. He still probably would have made it. It's a boomer down the field. Goal is coming out with it. Dodges a tackle. Stop at the 23. Men stalled early last drive. We'll have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 23 yard line.
Mike Ditka is going to make the catch here, but doesn't stop after that. He snares it and powers his way for more. Ooh, that guy was rumbling. <laughs> Ooh. Ha, he's not exactly fleet of foot, you know, but on that last play, he spun his wheels and really dug in for those extra yards. And when you barrel down the field like a Mack truck, you don't need to be fleet of foot. Come on, fellas, keep him out of that end zone. Well, if they pass the ball here, watch him to gun it for his favorite receiver. Wallace gets the call on second down and will end up losing a couple. Clyde Simmons read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his third tackle of the game. Brick wall, guys! Brick wall! We're stopping them right here, right now! Third down, right. goal to go. <laughs> Marina throws a bullet to the flag, and it is not reeled in, incomplete. Eddie Wallace set up for the screen back there. He had blockers ready, but... <laughs> Forgot to catch the ball. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. <laughs> Tight with a 22-yarder and... It's through the goalposts and good. Keenan Kite has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. For the first time today, they leave the red zone with only a field goal to show for it. You know, overall, Dan, the defense has to be happy with how that one played out. It's a boomer down the field. Carrier is coming out with it. Stop at the 19. Mark Carrier took it out of the end zone. While it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20. So it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Cyclones take the field, and they have had some big running plays. We'll see if another one is in the works. We'll start at their own 19-yard line. Simpson grabs the run right side, and that's good for a gain of five. O.J. Simpson snatched it out of the air without any challenge from the defense, Dan. You know, my grandmother could have covered him better. Time and time again, he makes a fantastic option of himself coming out of the backfield. Well, there are some runners that just have a knack for the passing game, and this guy's got it. Simpson takes the toss and gains about three yards. Gets the call again, and heads wide right, tackled at the 35. It will be first down. 
This is a very good run for a sizable gain, Dan. You can't ask for much more out of your rushing offense than that. Peter, they did what they needed to do, and they squeak it past the first down line. Yeah, he knew what he needed to do, and he done did it. How eloquently put. Thank you. First down, tight end to the left. up second down gain of five on the play waters with the tackle watch out for second the play action ball at the 40 yard line Scott Poole makes a nice stop in the backfield here, throwing his man into the turf behind the line. I guess the ball carrier's travel plans were canceled. Oh, he's not going anywhere. Pow, you're down. Nice tackle. They force that one backwards, and that's going to make this third down that much harder. Yeah, they also make it easier on themselves by wiping out all of the potential short yardage plays they might face. Third and long. for the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. Another tackle, and it seems like we're always calling his name. What a hitting machine in the secondary. He's definitely carrying his weight back there. Lee lines up for the punt. Takes the long snap and punts it away. Golf fields the deep punt at the 16. Stop at the 19. will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 1.52. Marino throws this on the road and he connects for a pickup of four on the play. Flag down on the play, let's get the call. Late hit, number 99, defense. <laughs> Jerome Brown tackles his man on this play well after the whistle blew. Watch this again. Oh, yeah, a clear cut case of unnecessary roughness. You ain't forgetting anybody of the day, are you? Hey, man, I don't play favorites. First down right. with the tight end, Ryan. Right. Continues to tick down. Marino fires this one and the catch is made, and the clock continues to wind down. Moore makes the catch on the right sideline and gets the first. He's out of bounds 
and that will stop the clock at 119. Plenty more. Works it to the outside and gets a huge gain. That's a great play, great execution. Let's have another look. Yep, got past the marker and eventually runs out of bounds. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First down, the clock is stopped at 119. Marino lets it go down the right side and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Plenty more does everything he can here to find an opening for the quarterback to throw into, but no dice. That looked like it could have been completed. He couldn't hook up for a connection there after completing the first five of this drive. Yeah, he has had great success with the pass, no doubt right. about it. Second, Second down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. Smart there, stopping the clock by heading to the sideline. That's a good play. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. <laughs> Marino, life is it out left side. is going to make a great play right here. Snags the football and then really turns on the juice. Free TVs today. Fantastic. He just competes harder than the next guy. That's it. Oh, this guy is on point every time we see him. He does what he has to do and makes the defenders look helpless while doing it. the extra point and it's good it up there. Curtis down at the 43. Tackled at the 43. Coleman will be credited with the tackle. Brad Curtis wasn't going to let a miracle happen on this onsides. It comes his way and then gets his hands around it to put the offense out on the field. Great work by this hands team. A gutsy call and when you live high stakes you win big or you lose big. Well, they lost, and now we'll see how they recover. The Cyclones start this drive with great field position at the 43-yard line. Calls the Iron Man take their first time out. Big play, let's do it again. Oh yeah, I hope they come at us the same way. Simpson gets the ball again, and Iron Man will take a timeout. That's their second.
Third down, and they line up with three tight ends. Simpson gets the call on third down and heads out right. One man to beat. The Iron Men take a timeout. That's their final one. Carrying us, man. Ooh, baby, I've been feeling good since the first whistle. Go, You know, Dan, that tight end is a great target in the end zone, but the halfback can blast forward for a few as well. Cunningham takes a knee, and the clock will tick down. That last play wasted enough time to allow them to run out the clock now. All they need to do is sit on it, and this game is in the bag. Second and goal. Well, they're waiting until the last second to snap this one and take as much time as possible off the clock here. Takes a knee, and that will do it. Dan, I want to point out something on that last play. Did you notice the job he did in letting the play clock That's wind the all the way game. down before snapping the ball? That's good clock management. With that, let's look back at some of the plays that made the difference in this one. That was an exciting game. So let's not waste any time in getting to the highlights in our post-game show. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Simpson got the football here, and this was just all individual effort as he broke off a big one. A 61-yard touchdown for the visitors. The Cyclones move ahead by 14. The Ironmen early in the third. Marino went to the air trying to convert on third down, and he found his man. A 25-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. Still early in the third, the Cyclones out in front by seven. Harper was definitely a key player as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. They move ahead by 14. The Cyclones midway through the third. Walker is going to come up with the big play here as there's a scramble for the fumble, but he is there to grab it. The Cyclones out in front, 49 to 35. Cunningham would find his target on this one. An 18-yard touchdown for the visitors. The Cyclones move ahead by 14. Now early in the fourth quarter, the ball at their own 33. Cunningham is back, and he's pretty much locked in on his wide receiver, and he hits him. That set up a 47-yard field goal. Trying to answer back, the Ironmen behind by 17. Moore emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. They climb back again and are now down by, by 10. The Cyclones still early in the fourth quarter. Wooden shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Cyclones ahead 59 to 49. Peterson was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Midway through the fourth, the ball at their own 22. Ditka came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. That set up a short 23-yard field goal. Late into the fourth quarter, the Ironmen down by 10. Moore ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. They draw closer and are down by three. The Cyclones still late in the half. Simpson got the call on third down, and he did not disappoint. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play, and that will do it. The Cyclones win in a shootout, 62-59. to Let's take a moment to recognize the 2K Sports player of the game. O.J. Simpson turned in yet another legendary outing.
Well, he was the best player on the winning team. It's as simple as that. We'll see if he's able to keep up this high level of play in the games ahead. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time.